How do the Cowboys recover from another playoff disappointment? How do the Eagles recover from a Super Bowl loss? Do the Giants have to choose between Jones or Barkley? And just what is going on in Washington? What's going on guys, Dick's Report here, back to you with another video. Last time I took a look at the AFC East, now we're going to take a look at the NFC East. As always, we're going to start with the Cowboys. Yes, the Cowboys suffered yet another disappointing postseason loss against the 49ers, this time in the divisional round. The Cowboys have not made the conference championship in a long time, and that just does not sit well with Jerry Jones. Now, Kellen Moore is out as offensive coordinator, and Mike McCarthy is going to go back to calling plays. We'll see if that changes anything. But they have a bigger issue. Tony Pollard's a free agent, and they owe Ezekiel Elliott a lot of money. They want to keep Pollard. This might be a case where they have to cut Elliott. Pollard was the better running back, but they might lose Pollard anyway. So you, there could be a realistic chance that this team is going to start fresh at the running back position. Now, maybe Bijan Robinson falls to them at 26 overall. It could happen, but I wouldn't bet on it. So we're just going to have to see what's going to happen with the Cowboys at the running back position. But there's another issue. Anthony Barr, Leighton Vanderush, Dalton Schultz, and T.Y. Hilton are also free agents. These were contributors on that team. And they have negative seven. They're seven million over the cap. They got to figure out what they're going to do. Now, one thing's for certain. Dak Prescott will be the starting quarterback. This Cowboys team still has a lot of questions that need to be answered. Right above the Cowboys in the first round is the Giants. They got the 25th overall pick. But this is a Giants team that won overachieved last year. They went to the playoffs and won a playoff game against the Vikings. Now, they met their match against the Eagles, but it does look like the future is bright in New York, especially with $46 million in cap space. Now, that could be enough for them to re-sign both Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. But if they want to re-sign Jones, they have to figure out what they're going to do with the receiver position. Because guess what? Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton are also free agents. So they need to make sure that they have receiving core for Jones. And with Barkley, yes, Barkley has been injured, but when he is on the field, he's one of the best running backs in the NFL. He showed that again last year. Really, this Giants team, they just have to keep improving the team. They just have to keep adding pieces to it. And with $46 million in cap space, they'll have a chance to do that. This Giants team is a team that's on the rise right now, and hopefully it's going to continue. The Eagles may be coming on Super Bowl appearance. However, they have Big time questions this offseason. Let me put it to you this way. Javon Hargrave, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, Robert Quinn. Those are just the big free agents on the defensive line. You also have CJ Gardner Johnson and James Bradbury, TJ Edwards, and Miles Sanders, and others that I can't even think of right now. So many guys that are free agents that help this team get to a Super Bowl. By the way, they only have six million in cap space. One more thing. They picked 30th overall in the first round because of the Super Bowl loss. Big time decisions need to be made, and that doesn't even take into account the fact that they need to get Jalen Hurts a contract extension after the season that he had, and the fact they don't have a fifth year option because he was a second round pick, not a first round pick. It's a big offseason right now for the Eagles, and it's going to be a big road ahead to try to repeat as NFC champs and maybe win the Super Bowl next year. Long road ahead, and we'll see if they can pull it off. The Washington Commanders already answered one of their biggest questions this offseason. What were they going to do with De'Ron Payne? Payne was up for free agency, and he's been one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL since the Commanders drafted him in the first round. And he's coming off his best season as a pro. Well, the Commanders decided to franchise him. Now we'll see if they can get a long-term deal done. However, they've also invested a lot in the defensive line already. And they have a question about Chase Young and whether they pick up his fifth-year option. Young won Defensive Rookie of the Year, but last year, he hardly played recovering from the torn ACL that he suffered in 2021. So they have a big decision to make, and we'll see if they decide to pick up Young's fifth-year option or not. Also, the Commanders have to figure out what are they going to do with the quarterback position. Taylor Heineken's a free agent, and they've already cut Carson Wentz. Now, with Payne being franchised, they have $16 million in cap space. So they would be able to sign a veteran, but the question is, are they going to go that route? Are they going to trade up in the first round to get a quarterback? I'm not entirely sure, because they're picking 16th overall, and with the top four quarterbacks, they're expecting all of them to be gone in the top 10. They want one of them. They're going to have to trade up. 
It's a lot of questions right now with that quarterback position, and just a lot of questions with Washington in general, just on the field. I'm not even going to get into what's going on off the field with them. And one other free agent I wanted to talk about, Trey Turner. Trey Turner is still a serviceable lineman in this league, so we'll see if the commanders decide to re-sign him or not. But really, with Washington, it's going to be all about if they pick up Chase Young's fifth-year option, and the big one, what do they do at quarterback? All right, guys, those were my thoughts on the NFC East. Next up is the AFC North. As always, make sure to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. As always, I will see you guys next time.